guys, and welcome to Pot Pie World. If you read the title, this is the Pot Pie World Grand Tour. So, let's go right in. So, you start in this cave here, and then this is the gates that let you in. And, I um, mean, it is daytime, but soon in this, it will become nighttime. So, it was time to fly. So I am going to quickly bring us on up the steps. To your immediate right, you are brought to this staircase, where upon this is the roller coaster that pretty much shows you the entirety of the park. You reach peaks up here where it slows down, you're able to look to your right, and you can see the whole park which we will get to in a minute. And this is the exit on the blue path. So now, you go over here to the cube. This is the next attraction upon this hill. And yeah, this is a spinny ride. If you looked at the montage video, this was the cube shown. So, now we will go down the hill. Let's go back down, and then, as you go here, these two are staff buildings. You are not allowed in, unless you are a staff, like Billy Bob Joe over here, the janitor. Over here, we have the bathrooms. Uh, I mean, every park has their bathrooms. And when you go into the bathroom, there's nothing, literally nothing there. Oh, I mean, we don't talk about that. Okay, you have your ATM, first aid, food, drinks, and drinks and ice cream, and the gift stop, the gift shop. I'll call it a gift stop just because that's what my mind decided to call it. This is the Roman Swings. This is a nice attraction. It is a very popular attraction in the park. And yeah, it, it's literally those big swings that go up. Let's get a demonstration here, shall we? Lady, start, start, start the ride. The people are on it. Come on, I hired you. I hired you to start the rides, not leave the people on the swings forever. Yeah, this is our demonstration. This is just your common things. Guess they're tired, make sure there are enough benches. Later, please. Uh, don't ruin my minute here. This is the Jagger Spin, the Pot Pie Spin Machine. Where it's just a Ferris wheel, nice for the whole family. So then, here, you are allowed to go on up here. There's not much up here apart from the Pot Pie Coaster. Um, yeah, this is another popular attraction, as you can see. There's a very long, long line. There is currently 3,306 guests in the park. And yeah, if you want, let's go on the ride with the people. You see? I like the high coasters that really show you what you're in for. This is another cool factor about it, the fire. But yeah, you just go up, you fly down. It's all in a fast period of time. This is Pot Wars, because it looks like something from Star Wars, and I just had to make everything Pot Pie themed. I don't know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Here we have Scissor, not to be mistaken with Scissors, the demon man who made the Fortnite death runs. This is just a nice spinny ride. It's a fun one for not the whole family, but the older kids. This is Genie. I can't explain this one. Like, I can't even show you a demonstration. It's nauseating to look at. I, I, I am not a big fan of that ride, but I just put it there because it was an option. This long queue we will get to in a minute. Thin Man's Return has been fixed. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. Jeez, stop ruining things. This is Sandstorm. I don't know exactly how to explain this. It's just based off of the Sandstorm video. There's sand around it, that's all. This is just the area of chaos where, like, explosions happen and every once in a while these fireworks blow up. It's fun. This is Dame Dame. You can 
notice that most of these are based off videos. But let's not get to the queue yet, the long queue. We'll get to that next. But here is the pyro section that leads to the magic twirl. I didn't rename that one. I don't know what to rename it. Uh, you can name like a ride in the bottom. Too many guests are trapped? There's a very wide space. But yeah, you can see. Nice little thing there. It's fun for the whole family. Now the moment you've all been waiting for. Why is there a giant image of the Thin Man? This ride is the Thin Man's Hypnosis. Check that out. The video should be in an eye on the top of the thing, right around up there. But this line has a tremendously long queue. There was one point in time where I think a thousand people were just in the queue for this line, and it was insane. It was like, that's why I had to extend it to the length it was, because I had to fit everyone in. But... Yeah, this is a simple coaster. We can hop on it for a minute just while I explain. It goes backwards the entire time. So it's just like a simple ride. It's like a normal backwards coaster like you would expect, but it has the twist of being in the line there's two feet. Now, let's get to this section here. This is like the little homes. You also have the these drinks and stuff. This is like the food court-ish mall area. Oh yeah, this is another one of my favorite parts. Right, let me go down into it. This is the bench area. So you get your food and you come over here and you eat. Or you talk and be bald like this man here. But this is crammed, man. Everyone's here. We got the cosmic cow entertainers. This guy's crying. I don't know why. I hope he's not crying anymore. I love Cosmic Cow. I believe I can fly is so yawn. You love Cosmic Cow. You're heading to the Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Where's that? Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a couple of hours. Okay. This is Build a Mangle based off of the FNAF Five Nights at Freddy's Curse of Dreadbear DLC item. The thing. Yeah. This is just a memento and another food thing. This is the spinny ride. I don't know what it's named. It's called Elixir Machine One. Now, these are staff buildings so that the staffs also get a home here so that they're nice and happy. The coffee's been empty for a while. I don't know what to say yet. This is the hotel. It's castle themed. I don't know why. I just liked that. It was a template. Mm, let's not talk about that. This is the Sky Watcher. There's actually two Sky Watchers. The other one's over there. I missed it. I'm sorry. But you're getting one Sky Watcher. It's very high up, and it lets you see what's going on in the park. This is Bumper Cars, one of my personal favorite attractions. I don't know why. I just like them. It's cool. Now, if we go back a couple steps, and then we go around here. Go back through here. And then go this way. We have this, the spinning wheel. You go up and around, and then it goes around in circles. Uh, I think I heard somewhere that that's also called like the Ring of Fire. It's cool. This is the Monte Leon. It just had a fun name, and it sounded like a place from Maine, so I went with it. Here is the second Skywatcher. It is right across from the first Skywatcher. Very cool. Now, this is Kitty Corner. I hand designed this image and imported it into the game. I'm sorry, I clicked on scenery. Yeah. In here we have. Oh my god. Camera work with me here. I'm sorry. Bathrooms, chief beef, staff buildings, as you can see, staff are heading in there right now. You also have the whirly gig that if we start it up, start it up. This is actually called the whirly gig. Start it. Quit. Let me go back to the kitty area. Wait. You're rehired. Now get to work and let me do my thing. Get me back to kitty corner. Maybe the thing will be on now. Oh god, I'm stuck. Right, so it's fine. Wait, do you hear it? Wait, let me quickly turn up the volume. 
that's all I can play for copyright reasons. Okay. Well, that was cool. You know, it was just a little fun thing. Nothing to fix there. Oh, yeah, this is Bog Monster. He comes out of the ocean a lot, but he sometimes spits water. It's kind of rare, though. So he usually just comes out of the house. This is the juice store, because little kids like juice. Why is it closed? Unstaffed? No vendor? Come on, man. Vendor. Get in there. Hop in. There we go. See? Everything in order now. Okay. This is the rock puss. I like it. Why is it not open? Well, yeah, it spins around and spits out bubbles. Very fun. We also have teacups. It is a very nice attraction. And then we also have over here, high level of thief exists, theft exists in our park. What the heck? Come on, this is a kid's theme park. What are you really stealing? Oh God, Roman's going to put me down. Come on, I'm just trying to have my moment. This is the Runaway Kids Boat Escape, and the reason it's so cartoony is because it's in the kitty area. I had to make it happy. So he's on his way out, he's winning, you know, many guests are trapped in the park. And it's just a log flume, really. But let's go in first person view. And we'll go on this ride, like, the whole way through. Did I get to that yet? That's the hot air balloon thing. I like it. It's cute. I don't think it's open. Okay, wait, I'll have to fix that. But, there are still a couple of flaws with this park, you can say. But it's just a generally good park. Not spoilers, um, sorry. We'll get, we're trying to save that for last, okay? Yeah, open. I haven't tested that ride yet. I don't know what it is. But, if you come through here, the hottest attraction, we're just gonna go on it all the way through. Okay, we're gonna start a test. And we're gonna go first person view. You guys, there are spoilers for Little Nightmares too. If you didn't see the series on that, go check it out. But, let's get to it. So, you go on here, and you go up the twirl, and then, it comes to the fight scene with Mono and the Thin Man. Mono kills the Thin Man, and then Mono grows up. Mono starts growing up, then Mono turns into the Thin Man. Then it's a never-ending loop of how he goes back into Mono and controls people. Wow, that's cool. This is called Stickman Swing. I like this ride. Uh, yeah, and that is pretty much the grand tour, but there's nothing more pleasing than wait. Let, this, let, for, let the night come. Give it a second. Come any minute now. Multiple rides have been fixed. Let's just quickly look at what has been fixed. The cube and Roman swings. We talked about the cube, right? Oh, wait, we're getting into nighttime. And when it goes into nighttime, the lights go on, and that's when it's truly at its finest. What? And now that it's in the night, just look at it with all of its lights. The fire glows up, those signs pop, the lights on the spin wheel. No lights on this, but we can add lights. Yeah, it's just really cool, and I hope you guys all loved it, because that just makes it all the better when you guys are having fun. So, flamethrower, flamethrower, flamethrower. It's kind of funny, like the flames next to the water. Yeah. Well, there you go. Thank you all so much for coming on this tour, and yeah. I'm guessing this is goodbyes, and maybe you can come and visit one day. Goodbye.